Hey fellow YouTubers, this is Jaime Castro with Jaime Castro Digital Imaging. I'm sure everyone has seen the popularity of the acrylic pouring technique in the art community. Uh, it's pretty much when you take acrylic paint, you mix it in a cup, and you just pour it over a canvas to create a piece of abstract art. I happen to have done one myself about a, about a year ago. Something like this. So, in other words, you take the cup, mix a whole bunch of different types of acrylic paints, pour it on the, on the canvas or a wood panel like this one, and you can create something completely abstract and different that's you know a lot of fun to do. Um, as a photographer though, I wanted to try to use this same technique and apply it to photography and see what I can get sort of like abstract, a piece of abstract photography. So what I plan on doing right now is take the same acrylic paints, and in this case I'm gonna use acrylic ink, and I'm gonna pour it inside a fish tank in water, and let's see what we get. Before I, we get started, if you can like this video and please subscribe. And in the description, you'll see all the supplies that I've used so you can try this yourself at home. All right, let's get started. All right, everyone, how's it going? I'm gonna kind of adjust my lighting here. So what I have is I have pretty much like two desktop lamps on either side of the screen here. I, I'm purposely keeping it kind of dark because I like the dramatic shots, so. There should be plenty of light on there. No, you can use flashes if you want, but in this case, I'm just using some some quick desk lights. Um, what I plan on doing, I have my Sony A6000 camera, uh, just for demonstration purposes. I normally would use my my full frame, but for this case, it should be fine. So, here, what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using these Liquid X uh, products here, and you can see the, the description. And the link in below where you can get obtain you can get these at Michaels, but if, go ahead and click the Amazon link there so for your convenience. So here I got white, I got red, I got a blue, a yellow, and I got a silver. So tell you, these I'm purposely going for a kaleidoscope, so that's why I have the primary colors there. White you're definitely going to need because what and you'll see why in the demonstration you'll see that this kind of gives us a little separation of the color. The silver is very cool, these metallics, because you're gonna, it creates like little streaks and streamers inside the technique. So, um, so let's get started. Uh, the reason I like these is because they, they already come with their own droppers, so it's very convenient. All you have to do is kind of just drop, drop it in, okay? And at the same time as I'm dropping the paint, I am going to be taking photos and see what we get. So here, I'm just gonna kind of open all these up so I get everything ready. And let's see what we can get started with. So let's get started with a little bit of red. Let's go with a little blue here. Ooh, nice vibrant blue, a little bit of yellow, and let's go with the white because the white is what's really going to kind of make this thing come alive. I mean, you can pretty much start taking those photos now. There you go. See how it mixes? Let me take some photos here. Yeah, you, the reason I like these inks is you're getting you get a quick separation towards the bottom there. All right, let's add, let's add, let's add some of the silver so you're going to see some of the streaking here. Let me see if I can get a little more here. There we go. So here's where we can start layering the colors. A little red. Let's see if we can get a little more magenta color. Again, always kind of layer the white in there because that's going to really kind of separate the colors. And I'm just using a, a prime 50 millimeter lens here.
Let's add just a little more yellow to see what we can get. And again, you can vary these in any way, shape, or form. You can even do multiple at the same time. So let's see if we can get a little red streak in there. A little burst. Let's get some money. And I'm almost even not even looking at what I'm taking pictures of. I'm just kind of just going quickly here. And you can even use your cell phone. You, may, you don't even have to have a high-end camera to do this. Ooh, I'm getting some cool shots here. And you can vary your focal length as well too and kind of change your apertures. But like I said, sky's the limit on this. And just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and take one with my phone. Let's mix a little more color here. See if we can get a little more separation. And I'll go ahead and take one with my phone and see what kind of variation we get. And towards the end of the video, I'll, I'll demonstrate the two photos. As you can see, it's starting to cloud up. That's going to be normal. Let's see if we can add a little streaking. There we go. So yeah, it will get cloudy after a while. But again, you can empty the tank and do do this again. And you can vary. You can. There's a lot of colors out there that you can actually vary. So. If, you know, really the sky's the limit when it comes to this. Let's see if I can get a little more purple. There we go. I think we're just about done here for the photo shoot here. I think I'm happy with those. All right, as you can see, I think we clotted that tank up pretty well. So this is just an ordinary small fish tank that you can get at any pet store. Uh, I think this is a five, five or I think it's a five gallon one. So these are the paints that I use for this to, for today. It's a Liquid X acrylic ink. And again, you, you can see the, the link in the description for those there. Again, the, my setup is I got a couple of GoPro cameras just to kind of give you different angles. And I just have this, this within a light tent. So yeah, that's pretty muddy. Uh, I recommend, you know, to be environmentally conscious, I, I would try to at least uh, dispose of this properly. Uh, I normally won't pour it down the sink, I'll pour it in a bucket, and then just try to, try to dispose of it properly from there. Alright, let's see what images that we get now.